Hello everyone, this is continuation of our previous video. We are in class 8, chapter 12, exercise 12.1 of NCRT Maths Textbooks, CBSE, page number 198. So, we, this is continued. So, in previous videos, we have done already third question till third bit. Now, we are in the third question, fourth bit, which is 3 power third question fourth bit since we find the value of that one okay 3 power minus 1 plus 4 power minus 1 plus 5 power minus 1 whole power 0 3 power minus 1 plus 4 power minus 1 plus 5 power minus 1 whole power 0 okay so this one also it is 3 power minus 1 is 1 by 3 power plus 1 so 3 power plus 1 if I write also no problem because 3, one, 3 power plus 1 is 3 only. One, this one becomes 4 power minus 1 will be 1 by 4 power plus 1. So which is 1 by 4 only. I can remove that plus 1. It will become 5 power plus 1. Which I can remove that plus 1 because 1 is 5 power 1 or 5 is both are same. Okay. So whole power 0. See here this step we have written because a power minus n is equal to 1 by a power n so we have applied this uh, a power minus n is equal to 1 by a power n law for uh, all the three terms inside that is 3 power minus 1 also we have used uh, 4 power minus 1 and 5 power minus 1 all the three we have used the same law of exponent okay so further solving we will not do any further solving of addition of these fractions the reason is if you find out all this addition you get, you will get some answer right you will get some answer like a uh, 5 by something okay we will we'll solve it so lcm for 3 and so here itself we can tell the answer how this answer will be some fraction okay some fraction you will get okay that fraction like whatever the answer it may be some a by b something okay or else uh, some fraction that answer power 0 is there so which will be equal to 1 so anyhow this answer will be 1 but still for our convenience we will just solve this addition so LCM for 3 4 5 we will have to do which will become there are continuous numbers right so 3 4 5 LCM will be 60 only so but uh, I feel so no need of solving LCM of 3 4 since they are continuous numbers, we will have to simply multiply them 3 into 4, 12, 12 into 5, 16. Okay, so now first fraction will become 1 by 3 into 20. So you will have to multiply it also 1 also with 20, then 4 into 15. So 1 into 15. So since uh, I am just rubbing this LCM value, we got LCM is equal to 60 plus here 5 into 12 and 1 into 12 why i am multiplying it 12 because lcm will have to make the denominator equal to lcm value so numerator also will have to multiply with the same number without to not change the fraction so it will become 20 by 60 plus 15 by 60 plus 12 by 60 so in the before step i forgot to keep the zero on the top which is very important that is power zero is there now in our main portion okay so whole power zero no, since we get addition of this 20 plus 15 plus 12 whole divided with 60 whole power 0 okay so now if you from this step it is see 20 plus 15 is 35 35 plus 12 is 47 by 60 whole power 0 this this is what I was telling in the starting like you will get some fraction of tradition but you are having this is like looking like a power 0 here finally a is a fraction here that is base 47 by 60 is a fraction but anything a can be anything base can be anything if you see power 0 answer will be what we have 1 so this finally this is the reason why like i was telling if you don't find this answer also answer we can tell it directly 1 only if you don't find this final addition of fraction okay so final answer is 1 according to the box uh, law of exponent which i have shown here okay so this is about this question actually in the first step itself without solving all this you can tell directly whatever 
the value if you are adding also that common whole power zero is there in the top so that's why that result will be always one only so no need of solving also this question okay using this a power zero is equal to one okay so this is about this vector